Look who I found at the Western Qualifiers. We got Raheem Zamora with us. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. Just coming and enjoying the fight. I was in town, so I thought I'd keep check out the, the future of boxing in the United States, or at least the Western part. We got you coming up here very shortly. Expo, explosion. Becoming a regular thing to see you back in the ring now. Um, you know, I, I hope so. I hope so. I'm, you know, I'm getting a little up there. Like most of the guys at my age, they're usually, usually training. They got a big belly up to here. But I don't know, man. I just haven't lost that bug yet. And I still, as always, always have that little chip on my shoulder as far as, you know, as far as my status in the, in the ring here, especially here in the state. Tell us about what it felt like walking back out to the ring near your native Santa Fe up there at Camel Rock last time out oh, for Legacy man. Boxing. Yeah, I loved it, man. It was like it's like being born again, man. When it's, I mean, I remember hearing that in a Rocky movie. It's like being born again when you're out there and you hear the crowd, hear the music, and then you see the guy that you're about to fight. I mean, there ain't nothing like it. Looked like it took a couple rings to knock off that, uh, a couple rounds to knock off that rust. Well, three and a half uh, years out of the ring, I mean, it's always going to be different. Like, I had sparred several, uh, I don't know how many times in the three and a half years that I was off, but yeah, it's always going to be a lot different in a real fight. And uh, I feel, you know, another fight like that, you know, is going to, where I can get back up to where I was maybe even, you know, six, seven years ago. It seemed like that sixth round last time, you really found your groove, you started to feel at home there again. That's it, I just started feeling, uh, I mean, there's, at this point in my career, there's pretty much, there ain't gonna be nothing that I haven't seen before, and uh, it's just all about adjusting, um, just finding your range, and this guy, I mean, he had an 82 inch reach, he was tall, he was long, he was, he was cagey, he was crafty, but I mean, I came with, I came in with a few of my own tricks as well. Coming up in this next one, a very experienced opponent. We believe his name is Anthony Hill. Again, card is always subject to change, uh, but what have you been looking at and how has preparation been uh, for this fight? Every fight's different. You can't just watch a video and say, okay, well, he's going to do this and he's going to do that. So I just kind of see what, like what I look for in a fighter is patterns. A lot of fighters have patterns. And once you see that pattern, you kind of take that away and then you go from there. But every fight's going to be different. So the way, the way you say uh, this guy, he'll fight somebody on YouTube, he ain't going to fight me the same way. So, you know, I just, I get in there as soon as the bell rings, it'll take me a some seconds, a minute or two, maybe to, to see what he's about, and then we'll go from there. You had the three and a half year hiatus. This is the second fight back after that. Looks like you're making a run. Yeah. What's the goals? What's the aspirations for this return? Well, I mean, as always, man, I just, I've always felt like like some of those bigger fights have always eluded me. I mean, I remember as far back as, you know, 2000, 2007, 2008, I mean, there was, we were in talks like with an Andre Berto while trying to get a Julio Cesar Chavez. I mean, some of those bigger upper echelon guys. And, um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get to that level, but you know what? I'm just going to take a fight. At this point, I'm just going to take a fight to fight. Um, I think Legacy Promotions for giving me the opportunity to even come back. So, I mean, I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate the fact that I can just get in there. I mean, I guess, like, I, like, if you look at chronological age, I'm an old man, but I would say when you see me in the ring or people spar with me, they know that, I, that uh, I'm not exactly a has-been yet. <laughs> and with that age, though, has come wisdom, right? Yeah, oh, man, I wish, if I knew, if I knew now, or if I knew then what I know now, yeah, it would have been, well, it would just been more dangerous. I mean, I know I was avoided by a lot of people. Um, you know, but it is what it is, man. I mean, everything turns out the way it's supposed to be. And, you know, I've never been the guy that tried to get all the shine and this and that. But I know that I I know that I am respected when I get in the ring. What makes the difference April 1st? Why do you win? Uh, there's so many reasons. I mean, he's, he's cagey, but I'm cagey as well. He, and, but the, at the, like at this point, everyone's like, well, how old is he? And it's like, come on, man. Everyone's going to be younger than me at this point. <laughs> so, but like I said, it's the experience, the knowledge. I mean, just aside from the, from the actual fights, I've been in the ring with so many different people. I just feel like there is nothing that he's going to bring that I haven't seen before and that I can't adjust to. 
What's the message for the fans to get on out? Man, just come out. I mean, it's a huge, it's the biggest part of New Mexico scene in years. Um, I'm just glad to be a part of it. One thing, ladies, most like I said, all my trainers, Victor Saavedra, Al Lovato, everyone that's helped me out. Um, I think my girlfriend, Edwina Vargas, because she's been handling and holding it down with the tickets. Um, got my little boy here with me, Enrique. He's always got my back. But uh, long story short, you guys just come out. You're going to see some great fights. I mean, you have, I mean, you have every single like big name fighter, especially out of the Albuquerque area, fighting here on this card. So I mean, you guys are gonna come out and it's gonna be some big fights and you're gonna see a lot of knockouts, I believe. Last thing, I don't wanna harp on the age issue, no. but talking to main eventer Fidel Maldonado, he said it's a real honor to be fighting on a card with somebody that he grew up looking up to like you. Yeah, well, I mean, man, you know what's funny is like, I look at, like I'll watch Fidel's fights and of course he's from Nuevo, he's from New Mexico, so I'm always going for, for him and all, as well as all the other fighters, but you know, he, especially him, I like watching because, you know, we got that Southpaw style, you know, but, I mean, it's an art for me to be fighting with them, I mean, like I said, like, I watch these guys as they're young and, and the amateurs, like I said, and they just came up, came up, came up, and it's like an honor just to see how they've all blossomed as fighters, and, you know, like, Fidel, he's on the cusp of world titles, and I, I truly believe that, and, um, you know, so just to be on the card is an honor. Like with Josh, I mean, former stable, the former stable mates, so, you know, Josh Torres, Hector, you know, and I've sparred a few times with uh, Wero Sanchez. You know, it's, it's just a great honor to be uh, associated with this whole card. Didn't think about that, but now that you brought it up, does it bring, you know, fond memories? It's a Team Tapia reunion? Uh, well, I mean, because we all got to take care of our own business at the end of the day, you know. Of course, I'm always going to cheer for all the guys. Especially all the New Mexico guys, I'm always going to be cheering for them. That's just, it is what it is, you know. But, um, you know, but they've gone on, they've gone, you know, done their own thing and everything. But I'm always going to wish them the best and wish them well, just as well as, you know, guys that I haven't trained with, but I've sparred with, like Fidel or, you know. Or Josh. Or, yeah, exactly. Josh Sanchez. Exactly. So, you know, I just wish everybody the best. You always hope that, you always hope that everybody comes out safe whether they be from here, the opponents, um, just, you know, a lot of those guys that are coming in to fight, fight us here in New Mexico, I hope their insurance paid up, but, you know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> Thank you for the time, sir. All right, no problem.